So all this brick that was sitting here that we got previously on the road tractor that came, I'm having the Moffat move it all for us while he's here because I don't have a machine here that can move that. And the Masons would not be happy if we had to move 10 cubes of brick by hand down to the back of the house to lay the brick. I'll take you back around back and show you how much he's moved so far. So all this he's shoveled around back for us, which is saving us a lot of back breaking work. neighbor is a a farmer and we don't have our well yet we haven't drilled a well yet they should be here around Thanksgiving and the Masons got out there this morning and to start laying brick and Jose said where is uh where's the water I said, what do you mean where's the water we don't have any water so he didn't bring any water and we don't have a well so thankfully we have awesome neighbors James and Maggie that are allowing us to poach off of their well and James even loaned me this 55 gallon drum to shuttle water up there and that airplane's low and loud but uh, saving the day our new neighbors down the street making it happen for us So this right here, what do you call this? This board right here you would just put up. Oh, the boards, they're just guides for the lines, elevation-wise. So you put a line where every row of brick is? Yes. That way you'll know exactly that you're going straight. And we should have laser level as a starter point, and we go from there. Is it three inches? Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. That's mortar joint and the brick. On this inside corner, they have screws at every course of brick. So they can pull their streamline on the inside corner over to this piece of wood here where they have their every course is marked.
So there it is. We have started laying brick. It is November 8th. 2022. There it is. We are fired up. Prep work is pretty incredible with these. They've been doing I mean, they've been here, gosh, hour and a half, two hours. And all they've been doing is layout. Getting all the corners laid out, getting the inside corners laid out, shooting grade, snapping chalk lines. string system pretty slick it's a lot of screws but keeps it straight These are the metal ledgers for our brick. So over your windows and your doors, you have a gap and you have to have something to support your brick. So these big heavy ones here, let's see how big they are. Pretty thick, probably, gosh, I don't know, three eighths inch thick. Those big ones are for the garage doors and the smaller ones there are for the windows. And you order them to length. Um, I order them about six inches long on each side. So a total, if you've got a 24 inch window, then you would add six inches for each side. So you would order a 36 inch piece of ledger metal. Uh, there's the flashing that you use. 20 mil, let's see. 20 mil PVC flashing. So they'll cut that when they need it to flash around the top of the doors and the windows. And then this is our wall ties. That's what's actually connecting the brick to the wall. So the brick, the brick wall doesn't fall over. Um, then yesterday we got a dump truck load of sand. We shuttled half of it down to the basement down where we're working today, this morning with the tractor. And the reason we're starting in the back, art is the lowest point, so we'll start at the bottom, work our way up. But we're also waiting for our waterproofing guys to come back. They were supposed to be here today. Hopefully they'll still show up, but um, this material here is not UV stable, the rubber wall. Um, so they're gonna have to spray this again. And but we are rocking and rolling. Got some brick. Today's the first day of laying brick. Got a refrigerator. Quick story about the refrigerator. So this refrigerator we ordered, it's November 8th. We ordered this refrigerator last Black Friday. Crazy. And it just delivered about a week ago. Um, I think we paid $1,800 for this refrigerator. And now if you go to Lowe's, this refrigerator is about 3,500 bucks. So we are very fortunate to get it. Um, when we bought it, 
we booked delivery out as far as we could get it. And paperwork and things got crazy at Lowe's. And after four or five months after we ordered it, they'd kind of lost our order in the system and blah, blah, blah. And so they refunded us our money and we didn't know that until we followed up and said, hey, we need to get this delivery rescheduled. And they had canceled our order, refunded our money. So we went back to the store and showed them our receipt and said, we never got delivery of this. And um, they're like, okay, we'll re-enter the order for you. And they honored the price. This is a month ago. They honored, honored the price and brought it out. So we're still obviously extremely early on getting the refrigerator, but we didn't want to prolong it anymore and risk losing the refrigerator at the price that we bought it almost 12 months ago. So we went ahead and took it and stuck it in the garage now that we're dried in and it's just hanging out, chilling until we need it. But that's the quick backstory on our refrigerator. <laughs> so hope everybody's doing well and we will catch you on the next video. This is a wrap on day one of Lambrick. Brick.